I'm just tapped up and welcome to Let's Play Sora. I'm just gonna let this intro here play since I don't think I can manually trigger it. It's sort of the intro. It just plays like it isn't in a track mode, but you know, you have to wait at the main menu to get it to happen. Uh, review copy of this game was provided by the developer. This is a sort of sequel to the Sarugi games. Sarugi is like an unusual sort of shoot 'em up game. Barker. Barker, please. Barker! every time come here so uh sora is our main character she's this very melancholy girl and if you uh, if you don't follow the um or uh, the orange juices games they sort of um i'm not sure what the artist's name but they all they all have this sort of simple but very cute art style for the characters and despite being cute the characters are generally like it's the sort of like toho thing where everyone is like a living weapon basically and lives horrible, disastrous lives, and all of that sort of fun stuff. Uh, oh, and these are localized by uh, Fruit Bat Factory. Oh, here we go. We actually have music. I was, I was a little worried there. Music for this game is pretty all right. This intro is longer than I remember it. It doesn't show off too much, but... Uh, it's like the only semblance of story in the game. Well, I mean, there's story at the end of levels and stuff, but uh, I figured I would show this. Um, so the way this game works, you have a, your character is very large, has a very large hitbox, and so it doesn't play quite like a bullet hell game. It's like it's more reaction based than um, dodging, you know, large patterns of bullets. And it's very weird. Um, it's not bad weird, but like, well, if you know me, I love weird stuff. Parker. Please, please get down. What are you doing? Is that the, uh, well, I think that's vaguely enough story there. Um, this game is very hard. Um, I play lots of bullet hell stuff. I haven't gotten past, honestly, past stage three. Um, even playing on easy. The easy mode is not that easy, but, um, so what's cool about this game is there's lots of different weapons. Um, Pile Bunker, while awesome, is incredibly ineffective. So we probably won't be seeing that at all. Um, and unfortunately, the launcher is like way better than the bazooka. But we'll see. We'll I'll show you some different lasers. Let's just start with the machine gun. Um, you unlock weapons by uh, there's a tutorial, but I'll just explain stuff instead. Um, the way you unlock weapons is basically just play the game. I'm not sure the exact qualifications, but uh, even when failing levels, I've still unlocked weapons. So I think it's either score or playtime or something. Um, all right, I'm supposed to not skip too fast. There's not tons of dialogue in this game. And you can skip it, but just by pressing the lock on button. Um, the one unskippable thing is that little intro there with the missiles. Um, it's slightly annoying that you can't skip that. Even the skip button doesn't work. So this is the sword, uh, very badass, very good way to hurt yourself. The one, the one thing that keeps the sword from being like supremely satisfying is the blade itself is kind of small, but uh, very effective in combat. Parker, Parker, just why can't you just sit in one place? Okay, the Parker danger has passed. So the way this game works, you have this dash. And while you're dashing, you're actually invincible to uh, energy weapons. So, like, only missiles can hit you. So, like, these things, uh, those lasers could not hurt me. And, in fact, if you can guide lasers through your Parker, through the rings, you gain, um, you regain red health, which I don't have any red health right now. And you also gain some super meter. You also gain super meter just by uh, doing attacks. Um... So a lot of stuff, a lot of times you'll be required to dash, and the way this game works is that dashing actually increases your heat meter, which is basically a damage multiplier for you. So anytime you get hit when you have like extra heat, you're going to take extra damage. Um, and so you don't want to dash unless you need to. And uh, sometimes dashing also activates different attacks, like dashing is very useful with the sword because it does this sort of really quick high damage attack. That uh, homes in on. Uh, actually, I don't think it homes in, but you can you can direct your sword slash. Other stuff has to lock on. Oops, I just wasted a super meter. Whatever. 
I could reliably beat the first level. I, I'm honestly not even sure about the second one. The the second level's boss is pretty brutal. Um, but the way health works in this game is you, we have a nice big health bar, but d mistakes can pile up very quickly, especially if your heat meter, meter is built up. And in general, bosses have a lot of potential to uh, put the hurt on. All right, we haven't been using our launcher. The rocket, the uh, launcher is a very good weapon. I guess I'll show you more of that next level, because my uh, sword will be a little less effective there. This is our first little boss here. I don't know if she doesn't have an eye on the left there. It like we never see her eye. I'm I'm just curious. So Sora is our whole melancholy, tired of fighting, even though she just started fighting, sort of protagonist here. So of course, no one else actually cares and they just fight anyway. Poor Sora. Hacker. You're a hacker. Stop being so good, hacker. She's calling hacks. She's gonna. She's gonna kick ban us from the server. As you might expect from a shoot 'em up story, not too significant. You can skip it if you want. I don't like to skip though. I mean, even like a rudimentary little story, I kinda appreciate. But I definitely like that you can skip it. So the way I like to handle this boss, rather dangerous, but uh, also kind of safe if you know what you're doing, is to just spam her with that shot. Um, only certain attacks can hurt you if she's, uh, ah, if you're dashing through her like that. If she does the, the, that thing, you're going to need to dash away. And if she shoots the missiles out, that can be a little dangerous. But otherwise, yeah, this is the machine gun. This thing is really good. This was a fairly late unlock for me. Um, very good, very simple to use. It lets you play more like a standard shoot 'em up. Uh, next episode, or next, not episode, but, ah, oh, frick. All right, the enemies have, like, supers too. At least this one does. So as you can see, we did very well here. But you can take a lot of damage, especially from that, um, sort of super attack if your heat is too high. But I didn't let my heat climb up, and I didn't really take many hits there. Um... Unfortunately, with me doing so well, we actually didn't see a lot of the mechanics. The sword is really good, but very risky. Because it does a lot of damage, and actually with the non-dash attack, you get this little invincibility shield very briefly. When Only when it is like actually hitting an enemy. It doesn't activate just if you constantly like spam it. I don't honestly know what's supposed to be going on here. I guess... Well, you'll see. I think she goes dead. Not Sora, but... Oh, hey! Weapon bullet! We got bullet... Wow. We suddenly have stuff. Alright, hold on. I need to go see what this stuff is. It gives you nice little descriptions of the weapons you get. Trap. Aw. I was hoping for a special. I have a bullet. Okay, so let me explain some of the different weapons here. So, Pile Bunker works a lot like the sword, except it's only a straightforward attack. You can... You can charge the pile bunker, but even at max charge, the damage per second doesn't really compare favorably to, say, the machine gun or even the sword. So uh, without the sword's versatility, it just... I don't like it at all, honestly. Um, the bazooka is a fairly high damage, extremely simple weapon. Uh, it's really not super great, but it chains well with, the, with your main weapon. You can cancel one attack into a different attack type sometimes. So that's where the bazooka excels. The launcher just spams out homing rockets and uh, does decent enough damage to kill most any normal enemies. And so pretty much any stage it's pretty good for, for anything but the boss. And it's okay enough for the bosses. The, uh, I don't know what trap is. I, I assume it's pretty self-evident, you know, proximity mine sort of thing. Um, we're going to try out that trap. It's probably going to get me killed. And we're also going to try out this bullet. We're going to try two weapons I'm unfamiliar with just to get me killed. The machine gun is basically standard hold, fire, shoot 'em up weapon. Um, it's only d like um, downside is that it doesn't have like a charge state, and it tracks a little slowly, which makes it not optimal for this next stage we're going to play anyway. Um, the M rifle will char lock onto multiple attacks, multiple enemies if you charge it. The rifle C just lets you do a charge attack. The rifle S sort of like spread shots if you charge it or if you do a dash attack. I don't know what the trap or the not arcade. 
You can do arcade mode, but I mean, that's gonna be even harder. Um, all right, let's do stage two. I can beat stage two, but not super reliably. Um, so choosing two new weapons might not be a great idea here, but uh, we'll see. If I recall correctly, the Fruit Bat Factory team said you can also get weapons by scoring so well. Oh crap, I picked Pile Bunker. The Pile Bunker sucks. Oh! Well, you can see different weapons now in this run that's going to get me killed. Weird. Um, usually, if a weapon lets you heat up while you're, like, I'm holding the dash button. Usually if it lets you dash and attack and, like, raises your heat, it attacks differently. But this one just seems to be the same exact attack. Alright, and let's... Alright, I can't... Wow, you can lay lots of those traps. Oh, you have a limited number of them, in fact. Um, do they just do constant damage? Huh, they deal constant damage, not single shot. That's really cool. I don't think I prefer them to the launcher, but uh, there's probably some cool synergies you can do with that. I like this ricochet, but I'm not sure I need it. Ah. And so lots of bosses' attacks will sort of... They'll force your hand with... Um, a combination of laser attacks, which you can go through just fine, and missile attacks, which you'll actually bump into if you just dash through them. So, like that. So, it's sort of a... They sort of try to limit your movement, which is, you know, pretty common boss tactic, honestly. I I do not like these equips at all, quite honest, to be quite honest. All right, let's, let's show you the pile bunker. I guess it's hard to see. The pile bunker does, like, 400 damage, I think, with three charges. So we actually did win there, but we took more damage than I really should have. Actually, this bullet thing isn't too bad um, with this normal attack. I'm just not seeing the utility of the the bouncy bullet. Also, once you take a hit, you have this sort of barrier. Anytime there's a barrier around you, you're invincible briefly. You can only manually do that with the sword. Otherwise, it's just... Or, um, okay, let me rephrase that. When you're using the sword, you can manually create a barrier while hitting something. Um, only very briefly, like, not even the full length of the animation. Um, you also generate a very long, well, not very long, but like two seconds of invulnerability after you take a hit. And when you're using your super, you are invincible for a certain period of time. And with the machine gun super, I actually, it doesn't constrict your normal attacks. So I actually use it to get myself invincible and then spam the dash sword attacks, which do great damage. Uh, it actually doesn't do great amounts of damage directly, but uh, we haven't seen our supers. Let's, I'm probably going to die here, so let me just show you all of my supers. You, the way bombs basically work is you fill that meter, and then you, um, you pick one of your weapons to use a super attack with. And then you're briefly invincible, and you deal a decent amount of damage. It's not honestly that impressive. Um... Look at this smug asshole. Look at this guy. We're going to kill him, so it's okay. Well, we're probably going to die this time, but uh, this guy's this guy's rough. You'll, you'll see why. You're a jerk. Oops. One, one thing is that he's invincible like half of the time. And he spams those blocks that will deflect your attacks. And uh, depending on where they come from, it can be a real pain to deal with them. Ah. Alright. So that was our pile bunker spam attack. Or like the bomb. Not very impressive. What was that? Ugh. Okay, so the bullets bomb totally sucks. And now we're out of- oh crap, I spanned one twice, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to see what the trap does. Maybe if I just get close enough and put traps on him, it will... It doesn't seem like you can fling traps. You just have to plant them. Ah. Though the traps are very good at clearing out his stupid- um... Wow, those deal like no damage to him. Um, crap. 
All right, we'll do better with weapons I'm familiar with, but uh, I still don't like that boss. Um, honestly, the trap might be good for clearing his stupid other weapons, but it definitely didn't deal enough damage to kill him directly. We're going to definitely want the sword, not the crappy pile bunker. I don't, can't believe I left that on. Oh, and one nice thing about the charge rifle is that you can actually execute the charge attack directly just by dash attacking. Um, yeah, let's go with this. Uh, story. Ah, no, not normal. I'm <laughs> barely good enough for easy. Um, so yeah, I really do like this game. I just wish it had like super baby easy mode. See, that's how you skip text. Nice and fast. So this is the machine gun. Uh, I used it before, but I didn't use it very much. It auto tracks enemies. It's a slightly slow on the tracking. It's not a big deal on this level, but uh, as you can see there, it took a little, there was a little lag before we actually damaged that one. Level three, the lag will actually be very significant and because enemies will start moving faster and uh, we won't be able to do uh, certain enemies. We just won't want to try that thing with at all. It does very good damage per second though, as long as you can keep hitting enemies. Oh, right. There's wind in this part of the level. I always forget it until it starts happening. Also, anytime you see a big cluster of energy weapons, you pretty much always want to make a nice little dash. And I think you get score. I don't watch the score too much. I, I don't really care too much for score until I can 1cc clear, like 1 credit clear a game. Um, I just, you know, try to do my best to survive until then. Um, but this boss, you can destroy his um, side lasers. They're honestly not a big problem though. His missiles are the real annoyance. And with this we can sort of clear any missiles that come directly in front of us. And if we're lucky, like we have been here, uh, he won't really pose too much of a threat to us at all. Because... See, there we go. You can just sort of stay in the middle there, and it's not too big of a deal unless he fires by chance, one just like straight down the middle or something. Oh, and we're not getting to see too much canceling. You can, like I said before, you can cancel weapon attacks into certain other weapons. Um, I just happen to not be using weapons that are good at that. Also, this dash sword attack, extremely bad to use on anything that uses missiles. Because um, the missiles will basically spawn right on you as you're attacking things. Like, we might see that against these jerks, actually. Yeah, these things. Whoop. Ah. See, I really like the sword in this game. I like when bullet hell games, well, more of a shoot em up, not really super bullet hell -y, but I like anything with like a melee weapon that really feels worth it, because you get a super high risk reward. Um, though, in more poorly designed games, the risk isn't worth the reward, so they're just they just end up as super dangerous and bad weapons. See, as you can see, we we deal some pretty damn good damage to this guy with this attack, and we just sort of have these traps to uh, whoop. Hopefully, clear some of the uh, mines. You can change your lock on. It's a little fiddly. I think you have to actually be. Actually, maybe I should play the tutorial again. See, so yeah, that's exactly that explains that. Best I can tell, you have to be... It'll only retarget the closest enemy. Um, it's not usually a huge deal against bosses, but it is for this boss. Because of those stupid lasers. You can usually tart... Not lasers, the meteors. We're, d we're doing okay here, though. And that's what I was talking about with that... Um, the bomb for the machine gun sort of gives you these options that float around. They don't really do too much damage on their own. Aw, oh, crap. But the good thing about them is that they give you some time to uh, spam, like, sword attacks or whatever. Also, we have... Anytime you have red health there, which is usually from taking damage while overheated, um, you can recover it by looping... Uh, energy weapons through your um, dash loops. Uh, this boss isn't really very good for, uh, like, damn it! Holy sh- those things hurt so much! 
Like I didn't even I wasn't even overheated and you saw how much that, that damage how much damage that did. We got an achievement for something. Actually that's probably just for be beating that level. I um I played that level before, but I don't think Steam achievements were implemented. I'm playing this slightly before release, so if we hit any bugs, they may be fixed in day one patch or something. Um I haven't I haven't really encountered any bugs though. Um as is fairly common for, um, not memory, um, uh, orange juices games. The options are fairly limited, but, um, not really a big deal. Game set assistance. Oh, I probably want, ah, crap, I forget how advanced works. I think I actually want advanced, but I don't want to mess it up. Um, so you can... You can brutalize the aspect ratio if you want, but you don't. You want to leave it on original. The The game's resolution is a little low, and the art is actually, you know, fairly low resolution as a result. But uh, it does let you stretch to full screen windowed. Um, I'm playing 1080p full screen windowed. I, Above all else, I just love full screen windowed, anything that natively offers that. Oh, crap. Hold on. Um, I actually need to change weapons, don't I? That's actually why I went to the menu, and then I got all distracted. Um... So machine gun, actually not that great in this level, but the launcher will make up for it. Actually, no. I, I thought I had the trap still equipped, but no, this is actually fine. Wait. You can, oh, you can change weapon from here. I didn't know that. That's cool. There's a tutorial that teaches you how to play. There's, um, there's some stuff involving uh, cancels that I haven't shown you yet. The, the, the tutorial's pretty decent. It's a little slow, but uh, it teaches the interesting stuff. I wish I could do that. How dare that be a cutscene only thing? What do you mean it's broken? So this is the first level where we start seeing some stuff that moves way too fast for the... Well, not way too fast, but uh, it's not a good idea to use a machine gun on certain stuff here. So instead, we'll use this. And the launcher has two whoop, modes of fire. If you just tap the button, it sort of dumb fires rockets, but they, they still home after they pop out. Um, and if you hold it, it fires more rockets, but only if there's enemies present. So you don't have to wait for enemies if you just spam it, but they'll be... Damn, already taken freaking hits. The... Okay, so the bad thing about using weapons is that it leaves you way more vulnerable. Like, it stops you from moving and all of that crap. So... There's a lot of situations where... Generally, if I take damage, it's because I'm trying to attack. Which is... A little unusual, like for a shoot 'em up game cuz um generally you're just constantly attacking in shoot 'em ups, you know. Um I think this is actually a laser. Yeah, this is a laser so we actually want to just loop it. I'm not sure if that one is no, it's not a laser. Ugh. 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 All right. That thing we want to use the machine gun on. Anything that won't die in one hit to a sword, you generally don't want to use a sword on, unless it, unless you know what you're doing. So, oh, oh I get hit by this thing every time. That does hurt you. I actually took a fairly substantial amount of damage from that thing stamping on you. And, like, enemies don't usually have um, contact damage, so I, I always forget about that. Ah. Oh, and one cool thing about the missile that I keep forgetting to do... Um, your missiles will cancel, like, damage their missiles, and then, you know, they cancel out, sort of. What do you... Oh, oh, oh. I remember now. That's, maybe that's why I do so poorly at this freaking boss, because I always forget what he does. Ah. Yeah, we're definitely not going to beat the boss, but we, we might beat this guy. Ah. Okay, I knew he was close. Ah. Yeah, I'm really bad at that guy. The downside of the launcher and pretty much all of the missile parts that I found so far are very slow. Oh, you actually can cancel, quote unquote, into the machine gun, but it's not a very cancel friendly weapon. Ah. Yeah, I think that this level, I'll try one more time, but this level is probably as far as I'll get. Um, actually, let's change, let's change to the C rifle. 
Ah, right. You can't... Some of these little cutscenes you can't skip, unless... You can skip dialogue, not the cutscenes, basically. They're not very long, but still. Would have to repeat them, it's annoying. So this either lets you charge, do a weak attack, or if you dash, you basically do the charge attack for free. But, as you can see, it very rapidly increases your heat gauge. So, not necessarily the best idea. Unless you can never get hit, which I'm not quite that good yet. But if you're in no danger, it's very nice because you can just spam the charge shots. And charge shots will generally take out normal weak enemies in a single hit. Yeah, I'm just not good enough for this level. Uh, <laughs> the game's got a heck of a difficulty curve. I do really enjoy it though. I, I've heard this is supposed to be their sort of like much, much improved version. Well, not I'm not sure how much, but it's their improved version of Surigi. I think I have one of those games. Um, I have not played it very much though. No, it's Acceleration of Surigi, I think I have. I have the one that's like a sort of fighting game in this sort of style. Like, it's really interesting, but I don't, I don't really have anyone to play it with. Ow. Ah. I didn't get hit for once. All right, let's just spam this on you and see how this does. Against certain attacks, you might just want to spam missiles because, ah, oh, crap, I got hit by that laser. Um, you know, your missiles cancels theirs out, like I said before. All right, we're dealing better, but not great here. There we go. We've got half health. We can beat a boss with half health. No, we can't. Not this boss. Actually, I forget this boss. I'm so bad at this level, I, I'm sure I'll see, remember it once I see it. I don't entirely like the charge Simon weapons, but um, I want the the pile bunker charge up feels so badass, but the actual damage output and risk. Oh, I remember now. Damn it. No, I don't like this boss. Um, the actual damage output of that um, pile bunker is just too bad. Just a shame because they're really cool weapons, but incredibly impractical. See, this guy's a jerk. He's gonna kill people. So it's just like, I'm so tired of this crap. Everybody just wants to kill everybody. I'm just here killing robots. That's different. It's very different. Poor Sora. Whatever. I'm gonna kill you, buddy. Because you're a jerk. Yep, you're a jerk. He's just jerking around. Come on. Oh, right. Yeah, this is freaking Ninja Boy. I don't like Ninja Boy. Ugh. I think the charge weapon does like extra crazy freaking um, overheating. Because I seem to overheat super fast when I use it. Like, way faster than just dashing. I'm not sure if all weapons that fire on charge... Actually, we're dealing decent damage. But we have so little health, and he freaking teleports around like an asshole. So who knows. Yeah, honestly, your supers are better used like a bomb, you know, to avoid damage, than they are to uh, try and deal damage. They deal okay damage at best. The problem, as I always have with bombs, is I don't think to use them when I need them. Damn it. Okay, okay. We got a fighting chance here. Except that happens. Ugh, come on. Okay. And the one thing I like is that the weapons... I do feel limited in the beginning by my weapon selection, but the... The starting weapons are actually quite good. You start with a sword, which is possibly the best weapon. Um, 
risky, but uh, but the Rifle M and Bazooka are pretty decent, and you can sort of actually, since I didn't show you this, and it's like one of the most basic things I teach you, uh, the Bazooka is most notable for being able to combo really well with the laser. Come on. See, this is where the being able to skip that cutscene will come in handy. So you can cancel shots into each other and um, fire a lot faster than you would be able to just like this is just spamming rockets and so basically your downtime turns into you know attack time um, it seems to put our heat up just a tiny bit but uh, not much at all like it doesn't grow past like a hundred yeah so I think it d huh yeah, weapons must have different amounts of heat they add by uh, dash attacking, because it's not too much from the sword dash. It's crazy much from the uh, charge missile, or charge laser. I guess it makes it so that your, your heat doesn't go down. That's the downside of this cancel. But you can also cancel into a dash. Oh, and a nice thing with this weapon is your your dash attack is just sort of spam fire lasers. This is the, like, this is all complete stock equipment I'm using right now. And so the stock equipment's pretty good. It's just that um, it feels really fun to unlock more stuff and sort of see what works out for you. And uh, though that does make it, it is satisfying to get more weapons, even if you're not progressing, you know, in terms of actually beating more story levels. So I'm glad the weapon system is in there. I, I do just kind of wish there was an, uh, like, super baby mode difficulty. Because easy is, like, I would say it's, I would say the easy mode is more comparable to what would be expe expected of a normal mode, Parker. Though, um, as in most shoot-em-ups, if you play on a harder difficulty, there's new attacks and, like, way more bullets and stuff. Um... And that's going to be even more crazy, because uh, I can't even beat level 3 on easy. Um, but I do I do really enjoy this. It's it's really weird. Um, I don't mean that in an insulting but it, way. It's just, it's not what I expected from a shoot 'em up and it's uh, it does it pretty well. I just wish I were better at it. Yeah, that is Sora. You got any last words, Parker? Hmm? No input? It's just going to sit on my desk as usual.